Mm -hmm. Social Security, and that's something that uh, people are very concerned about. I was reading uh, where you're on your stances on your website, uh, and the quote was something uh, along the lines of, we would need to potentially move future contributors and recipients off the Social Security rolls. Is that privatization of Social Security? It, it is, in a sense. I, I would like to phrase it as personalization of Social Security. I think what most people, when they hear privatization, they, they tend to get scared because they see it as we're giving Wall Street the money to invest versus uh, the federal government. Um, where I draw that distinction between personalization and privatization is that it would be in a fund that would be similar to the federal gov or the federal not federal governments but the federal employees pension fund where they can take money and put it in a pension fund and it is a mutual mutual fund tied uh, savings plan but it's also federally insured so that it gives them the best of both worlds it's a federally protected fund that they could actually pass down to their heirs but it's also a fund that is managed uh, via the stock market and gives you a better rate of return on your money. It also enables you to have more power in your choices of what you can do with your money too. So again, uh, I think that we need to have somewhat of a free market solution to this. Uh, we've seen that whenever we put uh, money into a pot for our federal government to protect, they tend to want to spend that money and we need to get it out of their hands so that they don't spend our money. If you talk to many people in West Tennessee, probably a number one issue for, for many would be jobs. We've seen high unemployment rates in West Tennessee, higher than the state, higher than the national average, over over 10 percent. In some cases, over the last year, approaching 20 percent. Uh, what could you do as a congressman? What could you see the, the House of Representatives do as a unit to help address that problem? Well, again, this is a, a problem that's not an easy solution, where there's not a, a one pill that we can take. But uh, I would address it in a, in, in a, different, a bunch of different uh, aspects. One, I think that uh, we would need to extend the Bush tax cuts. I think that's a, a, um, an issue that's uh, prevalent right now in the press. But um, I would say to extend it for two years. Uh, raising taxes in a recession is a bad idea, period. I think that uh, we need to uh, establish some type of normalcy in uh, Washington, D.C. There's businesses now are sitting on $2 trillion, estimated $2 trillion of cash. I think the reason why they're sitting on it is because they don't have any um, confidence in Washington, D.C. I think that they've seen a lot of legislation that, that it impacts the small businesses and they're just playing the wait and see game and wanting to see what's going to come next. But I think that um, another approach we could do is we could look at our trade agreements like NAFTA. Um, when NAFTA was enacted, uh, we've lost an estimated four million dollars, four million dollars, four million manufacturing jobs that had either gone south of the border, well they went south of the border initially and then they went to India and China. And we need to get those manufacturing, especially the manufacturing jobs back in West Tennessee because that's our base uh, employment uh, in West Tennessee. A lot of the factories in Covington and Trenton around the 8th District have closed because of that. We've lost those jobs. So um, I think that another thing that we would have to do is approach real tax reform. I'm for the fair tax, uh, which is repealing the income tax and replacing it with a consumption tax. One of the reasons why I think that we need to replace the social, or not the social security, but the income tax is because it's an outdated income tax, or outdated tax system that was implemented in the early 1900s. It's over complex. It's estimated to be around 60 to 80,000 pages long, 20 volumes. It's so complicated even the IRS doesn't understand it. So doing away with that, plus it's got special interest carve outs for many Americans. Uh, I think that last I saw is that uh, 47% of Americans today aren't paying anything in income taxes. So that leaves us with 53% of us pulling the, the, the wagon or the boat that's America. We need to get to where everybody is paying their fair share of the taxes. And it has to be simple, it has to be transparent, and that's what the fair tax does. A bright spot when it comes to jobs, at least in the future for West Tennessee, would be the mega site in Haywood County that, as you know, is uh, being developed for something that could be as big as a, an auto manufacturer. The state has been the primary driver in that so far. Does the federal government have a role in, in making that, uh, that, that spot successful for uh, business development? I think that anything that the federal government can do, and especially the representative of this district can do to bring attention to that uh, site would be extremely helpful. Um, Tennessee is a right to work state. It's got a lot of advantages. It doesn't have a state income tax. It's got a low cost of living. I think that uh, as a representative of the 8th District, bringing as much attention to the uh, megasite as possible. And I hate saying being a salesman, but 
you would have to uh, try to help attract industry as best you can to that location. But certainly uh, work with the state and local leaders. There's a lot of uh, gentlemen that are working hard to promote that site. It's a multi-county uh, event where a lot of the county executives in Haywood County, also Tipton, uh, Lauderdale County, they're working very hard to try to attract as much um, industry to that area as possible. Another thing that they're doing too is they're, they're working hard on trying to educate the workforce so that we have a high-tech workforce available if a plant were to come there. And I, I think that uh, as a representative, we would, I would need to help support that initiatives or those initiatives that they're doing and, and bring as much uh, help that I can bear to bring jobs to Tennessee. You see